Vicky Development. We're in Romania, standing here with Vicky Mon. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is JB from the FBBC, the Female Bodybuilding Channel and uh, we have a guest from Switzerland, this is Julia Föri. I will show, just a moment, I will show you in full picture now, <laughs> so take a wink, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so, and we are starting with just a few questions and um, I will say just Introduce yourself a little bit. It may be interest our audience who you are, where you're from, and learn a brief history about you would be nice. Well, um, first of all, thank you so much for having me. It's uh, it's always a huge honor to uh, yeah to be a guest and doing things with you guys. It's uh, really appreciate what you do. So um, I am Julia Furry. Um, I'm from Switzerland, as Chelly already said. And um, I'm, a I'm a female, female uh, women's, women's physique, physique competitor, I want to say. You're a pro. And um, yeah, pretty. Sorry? Sorry. You're a pro. Yes, a pro now, <laughs> of course. Very, very happy to uh, be able to uh, play with the, with the big girls now in the pro league. And um, yeah. Um, um, yeah, when you say history, well, let's say, say a lot of people are asking like, uh, how long are you doing this for and stuff like this. So um, just to tell you, um, I started bodybuilding now, like pretty much ten years ago now, like um, to uh, to train, yeah, to train like this. So um, and my first competition I did two thousand and thirteen, I guess. Yes, so. Almost, almost seven years of competing now, and, uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. That's the shortcut, like. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, we are now in just little critical times. Um, I want don't want to say the bad word virus. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, can you tell our people? how you manage this because I think uh, for most people it's a little bit um, difficult to feel like a pro or um, know what a pro is doing during the time the contest uh, are cancelled and so on. What are you are doing during this uh, crisis? Well, I have to say, I mean, you're talking about pros and stuff, and I think pretty much the whole world, everyone is sitting in the same boat at this time, um, which is, uh, we have to think different, and um, for me, as a pro, for me, of course, training is important, and it's also what I love to do, so um, I try to just uh, be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, do things different and focus on other things because I usually train uh, heavy. I like to train heavy. Um, that was works for me. And um, at the moment, obviously, because I'm training at uh, my home gym, just at home with a few weights, and dumbbells. Um, yeah. So I just. Of course, I do more reps at the moment as I used to, but also I try to focus uh, on other things like uh, weak points, for example. But um, me, especially, what I'm doing right now is uh, focusing a lot of my uh, core and my abs because that's uh, really a weak point of myself. And that's, for example, for example, that is something which you can really do very well out of the gym. And I think, to be honest, everyone has weak points or things like posing or whatever it is, um, which you can focus on also in this time without the gym. I oh, see, okay. So, just quite normal, like everyone on social media does what you're doing. So getting time uh, up. Um, we spoke um, uh, a few couple of days ago about your future plans. Um, 
<laughs> that was good good question i know <laughs> um but um i will return because i think we forgot something about your history um can you tell us where you come uh, where you um uh, came from uh, other sports like gymnastics or something or do you just um yeah i do bodybuilding i'm si i'm 17 or something <laughs> what's your background well my background is just like in general i have always been doing sports like um you know swimming was involved and uh, horse riding and uh, um my big career <laughs> Uh, which I tried was uh, being a snowboarder. Um, that was a big passion of mine, which I did a long time. And um, I also did competitions in slope style and freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's that kind of also was one thing which brought me to bodybuilding because I pretty much broke all my bones in my body it's like uh, I had knee injuries and surgeries and I broke my back and stuff like this yes <laughs> and that's the point when I broke my back I had to go um, to the gym with the physiotherapy physiotherapist and that's the first time when I was really going to a gym because before I was always doing, you know, like I said, outdoor stuff and uh, things like this. And I just started to like it in the gym. <laughs> and that was my first um, kind of experience with going to the gym. And then you get stuck with it, addicted. Yeah, but first, first it was like I trained a few years, you know, like in a normal range, like um, going with friends and stuff, um, you know, like twice a week or something, um, just doing apps and <laughs> all these things. Um, and then uh, it's funny because um, a good friend of mine, uh, you know, you know him too, is like Lucas Weiler. Yeah. Um, we, I met him, we, I met him uh, snowboarding back then, and um, he, was the he was the first one which I experienced doing competition. And, um, when, and um, when, I when I saw this, I was a, when I when I was the first competition I was watching. I was like, I was like wow, amazing. that's amazing! I just really, really want to try that too. Ah. And then from this day on, I kind of <laughs> had that thing in my mind, and yeah. Um, yeah. Since then, Since then, I'm burning for it. <laughs> That's good. So we have a little bit of background about that. And um, so you came. Do you did you first figure class or just you got involved to uh, female physique or how did it come? Just oh, started your bikini? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I was always. I felt like. First, you know, I came. I came from somewhere where I didn't know nothing about, and um, I thought like, "Wow, the figure girls—they look very nice." And um, I had that in my mind. I want to. I want to be a figure girl. So, and I started to train like um, back then with Daniela Sell. You probably know her. <laughs> and. Um, I just started to gain good amount of muscle and stuff, and, uh, so and that was the year when the IFB came up with the um, women's physique division. Mm -hmm. So um, I was discussing with Daniela, my my coach back then, about this, and um, we decided to yeah go to uh, women's physique directly. So I, I was I was always uh, women's physique. Ah, I remember that time. I remember that time. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, about uh, yeah, tw uh, 2010 or something. 2020, 2011, 20. Oh, it was 2013. 13, yeah, it was a, a year after their marriage. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So um, now uh, you are thinking about may I. <laughs> Surprised by uh, the people, uh, you're thinking about to um, maybe get a switch over to a uh, female bodybuilding class. Um, tell me about what you made that. Uh, what do you think about um, what you, um, yeah, 
what what fact <laughs> did uh, made you think about that? Well, for me, it's just like I have to say. For me, it's the uh, how do you say? It's the Champions League of uh, of all the divisions. I mean, I love female bodybuilding. I I love big developed mu muscle muscles. Sorry. <laughs> Um, and I love the looks of uh, the strong women and uh, yeah it's just uh, but it takes time so I mean I have this in my head since, since a long time if it's like something um, yeah I, I would like to to achieve let's say it like this that's also why I was talking with you about because um, um, yeah, because I just don't want to rush it and end up um, just being on stage and look like, uh, you know, like a sip of warm water or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say if I, I, I definitely would love to, to switch up. It's like, like I said, it's, I see it as, as an achievement, which I try to work towards maybe. But um, yeah, I just don't want to overrush it. Because if I if I want to do it, I want to you know be able to keep up with the athletes. And there's so 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 many amazing athletes at the moment on the stage, like uh, female bodybuilding, women's physique too. I mean, but so yeah, that's uh, so just it's a, it's a drive to get yeah more okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I totally, like like I told you, it's like, it's, uh, I don't know how to describe yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's a goal, yeah, but um, I'm taking my time, um, uh, yeah, because I just, I just don't, don't want to overrush it and just uh, switch because I, I want to switch, I, I want to switch when I feel like I look like, uh, um, okay ready <laughs> I don't know what I want to say yeah well, I, I know what you want to say just yeah to fit in the class it's like it's now or it was uh, for the good times yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I know okay yeah but sometimes uh, people think uh, what uh, physique uh, ladies are switching now maybe they have the money in concern about yeah because you know oh no i i really have to say it's like that's really it's it's totally my hard blood it's nothing about the money i mean if i would go for money i probably wouldn't even do that sport right now if i can say that no it's like it's really not because of money it's just because um i mean it's obvious uh, i over the last years um I kept gaining um, like some some muscle mass, but also a little bit of quality. So it's just what, what I love, and um, for me, it's it's really like a goal because I love the female bodybuilding division. It's not because uh, I think oh maybe I make money there. It's it's um, yeah. It's, that's not the point for ah, me. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, <clears throat> So we can be surprised if you are competing in one year, two year, or something else in a new class or not. But we wish you the best. Um, Thank you so much. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not ready with you. <laughs> I'm not finished um, because I want to go back to history uh, because I did a little bit of research about uh, footage I want to get from you and uh, to put it in the video now. Um, and mm. I stumbled upon your movie, Pearl. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I saw the trailer and got, got the footage I got, and uh, I read a lot of um, interviews and reports and uh, reviews also. So it, they're very in good, very good reviews. All always positive. Um, how was it for you to make that film? I know it's <laughs> a lot of interviews, but for our audience. What, how was it for you to make that movie? Um, I have to say it was a very interesting experience. I mean, it was so um, interesting to, to see how a movie is um, coming along. And especially, of course, for me, the point, of course, was um, the, 
like the topic of the movie. I mean, obviously, um, because first of all, I, I didn't want to really make a movie, but when I was talking with the director um, longer about the topic and what she was having in mind and stuff, it convinced me to um, to do it and. It was very intense, um, also when it comes to training and dieting and all that stuff, which is hard because sometimes, of course, you have, um, I don't know, 16 hours on set or something like this. So um, for for both sides, it was like um, we had to search to, uh, to make my training kind of uh, possible. It was very intense, but... Um, an experience which I wouldn't want to miss and for me personally, and for me personally it also um, made me reflect more about myself about um, doing bodybuilding as a as a woman that's uh, something I took out of it too <laughs> can you tell us uh, about a little bit about a story yeah it's just um, the story about a woman which is um, doing competitions like as a bodybuilder and there is a detail about her that she has a child and um, an ex-boyfriend ex-husband which um, she's not living together because um, yeah, yeah her ex has nothing to do with the whole world of bodybuilding and um, uh, he shows up with the child and it's just telling the conflicts you can have as a woman. For me, basically, you know, I don't have children myself, you know that, mm. <laughs> it's just telling. But it's, for me, it's just, um, in general, it, it tells the story about being a woman and uh, the issues you can have when you, when you decide yourself to, to go for bodybuilding. Um, so yeah, that's that's the shortcut out of it. Like in the movie, it's 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 really like um, about the the woman having the the kid and uh, yeah, what she's doing because is she designing herself for family and kids or yeah, that's the story. <laughs> so it's a, a little bit study about the uh, uh, psych of uh, the sport and being a woman. It's can we tell as a conclusion? Yeah, it is. It is. Um, like, uh, because there are many um, aspects which uh, you can take out of it, uh, even, even though you don't have a child. I mean, I know a lot of women in the sport have children. Um, so it's just showing, yeah, showing the world of uh, being, being a woman and doing bodybuilding. <laughs> Well, I have to say, so many people out there, like not not out of the scene or, or um, just like normal people, really, so many of them don't get the point, and that's a try to to yeah to tell the story and to describe to the people um, what's it about. Ah, oh, great. So, so you made also the experience we talked about it um, about. Uh, bad or shit storms or something else, or bad comments or something else uh, after that movie, oh, that's yeah. right? <laughs> yes, especially um, that's when I kind of woke up because I was, um, you know, when you're moving around Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is, it's like mostly like people which are liking pictures and stuff like this. Um, they know a little bit about bodybuilding because they stumbled on your page uh, because they're searching for bodybuilding or whatever it is. But that was, um, with the movie, it was really like um, uh, the normal world, like cinemas and uh, medias and all that stuff, which have nothing to do with sports or bodybuilding. Um, yeah, confronting with this. <laughs> And that's where I got a lot of shitstorm and uh, comments and stuff like this, of course, yes. So... It must have been really yeah. bad, right? For you? Yeah, some of them were pretty bad. So it's just like, it made my... my uh, um, that's like I said, like for me personally, 
it made me stronger <laughs> because I always know that there's a lot of people which are like um, which are negative about female bodybuilding. But when I got this amount of uh, you know back comments and stuff, um, it really made me think about um, the whole thing a lot of times. And um, I came out of it with uh, the one thousand percent being sure myself that I don't care. <laughs> I couldn't give any like how should I say? Yeah, I really just zero don't care about um, the opinions of people which are just negative. I like, you know, I like. Um, how you say, um, critics, and if someone is interested or don't know something about it, it's, it's always good to, uh, to talk about. But just like these negative comments, which has just like, yeah, which are just negative to be negative, I don't care. <laughs> I really, before I cared, but it made my, uh, my skin thicker. Can you say that in English? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I came out of it stronger when it comes to stuff like this. Okay, I see. Yeah. So um, the people made you stronger. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah, definitely. Because, like I said, the point was first I got sad or kind of like um, depressed. It hurt stuff. So I was rethinking myself and what I'm doing. And I came out of it with with uh, the decision that um, yeah, that, like I said, that it's more than one hundred percent what I want to do and who I am, and this is how how it is. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. So this is this is good because we, I heard about uh, during the years about uh, yeah some negative uh, aspects of uh, the criticism and so on, but I think uh, in these years we. Yeah, get more and more uh, you and, and athletes get more and more positive vibes, but also uh, because of uh, the initiatives of Jake. Uh, sorry, sorry <laughs> the microphone. Um, about oh, well, about uh, cannot hear. Jake Wood and so on. Do can you hear me? Yeah, definitely. I mean the 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 what um, he did or Wings of Strength in general for the. Um, is amazing and the athletes like I told you is uh, is amazing girls and uh, which are on a, such a high level uh, so um, it's really nice to see that uh, people are really doing something for it uh, for the for the sport at the moment great we have uh, no contact <laughs> it's like it's it's uh it's amazing that he did this. Like I told you, like I don't know when, but we were talking about it. Like um, I sometimes watch too, like you know, like motivational videos for doing cardio and stuff from Ronnie Coleman and uh, Kevin Lebrone or whatever, you know, the old stuff. But yeah, but if you search, like for example, um, some some motivational stuff uh, from a woman, like uh, so many amazing. Uh, female athletes from from uh, over the years you don't find nothing so it's really cool that you are doing something for it now <laughs> and you are part of it yeah that's why i'm very honored thank you so much um, <laughs> like myself if i want to thank yeah. someone for... well like i said first of all i want to thank you of course you guys for uh, doing this and having me and I really want to thank uh, Kati Flag from, you know, the gym, from David Chim, yeah, yeah. because when it comes to real training in my uh, origin, like Switzerland, there's just the place to go, the place to be. <laughs> and um, it has a lot to do with my work ethic that I'm able to train in such an amazing gym. It's just true, pure fun to train there. Um, so, um, and also I want to thank... Um, Norma and Randy, which are always doing my awesome bikinis. And it's funny because since day one, since my first competition, they always did my bikinis and it's just getting better and better. So I really I want to thank Randy and Norma from Bilbo Sportswear too. And um, of course, my current coach, which is uh, from Brazil, Cherson. Um, 
I was he changed a lot for my last competition. I don't know if people want to hear that or yeah, not. <laughs> um, it's just like um, it was funny because um, he it was like an em emergency plan, and he started to work for the competition when I won my pro card. Um, like three days or like two days I was working with him because there was a few uh, things going on which were not so optimal op optimal or how do you say it? Sure. and um, he changed a lot of uh, like how I was used to do so um, I kept working with him and uh, I want to thank him too because uh, I'm very glad um, yeah to to improve together with him and I want to thank so many people, you know, I like, uh, <laughs> there's so many amazing people out there. Of course, the IFB and everyone and uh, the parents. like you said, with the strength, I mean, I, I'm like, I um, I was uh, hoping to compete uh, in Romania this year. So uh, let's see what the year brings. Um, yeah. It's hard to, to thank everyone. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, just thanks to everyone who is watching us and is supporting, uh, you know, female bodybuilding, female uh, women's physique, whatever. Like, uh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Poses for us. I want to see poses. A pose? A pose well, what kind of pose? I, I have to say I'm... Um, I'm a fan of uh, most muscular, of course. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> yeah. Where is she gonna be? She's a nice one. <laughs> Where is she gonna have the strap for? <laughs> the traps, I have to say, um, I don't know. I just always had them. Probably it is because, um, let's be honest here. <laughs> Probably it is because I always was training pretty heavy. And um, of course, my first years of training, I probably wasn't, uh, you know, like only training the parts I wanted to train. So I just don't know. That just kept growing, and uh, now they're here. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Thank you very much for posing. And uh... well, thank you very much, like uh, for having me and uh, for doing this. It's really nice. And, uh... Um, yeah, best is Instagram, of course. Um, like, shoot me a message on Instagram. That's always good. And also I have an email address there on Instagram. Um, you if you have something, you also can write me an email, of course. Okay. Please. Oh, I totally forgot. I really wanted to um, also thank uh, Steph and Muscle Girls Club. I'm sorry. I just need to mention it. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a big pleasure. Big pleasure and honor. <laughs> Keep strong. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>